Hey there, it's Joe with Sonical Disruptive. I am bored. I'm at a hotel and I thought, why not unveil? Unveil this new series that I plan on doing every week. And that is my feature album of the week. So I'm going to do one better. I'm going to do two featured albums, one for last week and one for this week. The idea here is these albums are going to be under the radar in most cases. I'm not going to do the obvious I'm going to do things that maybe you haven't heard of and things that I got and have heard and have enjoyed. So that's what this is. So let's start off with an album that came out last week, um, came out June 3rd. I had that thing for months and I still listen to it fairly regularly, like regularly, yeah. The band is Hypermass, and the album is, <laughs> what the hell is the album name? Imprian. That's the name of the album. I don't spend time looking at the album name, so I don't know. But this thing is really fun. It's death metal, and it's fun. How does that even make any sense? Now, it's labeled death metal. It's not really at least traditional death metal in any sense. While there are some low gutturals in here, it's not the type of thing that's going to just pummel you into submission, even though it does at points. This just has a lot of personality and a lot of originality, a lot of blending of styles. There's a very melodic death metal aspect here. There is a even a little grindcore maybe, post-metal, metalcore, all the cores. It's got plenty of atmosphere, so it may go into the black metal territory once in a while, and it's just fun as hell, and it's very progressive as well. So it's progressive death metal type-ish thing, but it's it's really fun to listen to. It starts off with the constant, and that is just a very kind of Stranger Thing-ish, that intro, that synth intro, that's got this thing, that very 80s vibe to it. Um... Hive Mind is incredible. The Degenerate Strain is so damn catchy. The hooks here are crazy. Title track Imprian is good. Um, to Dissect and Serve. Null and Void. This is full of bangers the entire way through. But yet you got these plenty of um, changes, man, through here. You may think you're listening to, what the hell did I just say? You may think you're listening to maybe um, Carcass at one moment, and then all of a sudden you're listening to Pliny. It, what the hell just happened? It, it's got this very um, progressive metal-ish instrumental quality to it as well. The guitars are phenomenal. Um, you even have a little bit of, uh, I would say kind of shred even a little 80s thrown in here just a bunch of things thrown in here and it is incredibly fun to listen to so check out hypermass imprian came out june 3rd this is a self-release i'm not even sure what platforms it's on at the moment uh, i know it's on soundcloud i don't know about the rest Hopefully it is, because this thing is good. Now, on to the feature album of this week. This album comes out on June 10th, and um, this is, let me pull it up here, Bloody Heels 
and the album is Rotten Romance. Now, this is a band from um, Latvia, and um, these guys are really good. This is another really interesting and fun listen. Now, at its core, it is a throwback kind of melodic hard rock, kind of your 80s vibe going on here, but don't let that fool you. Progressive rock and metal influences here, straight up heavy metal influences here, gothic metal influences here. There are a lot of things going on. It is very just headbanging and straightforward if you just, if you want it to be kind of, if that's as far as you look, you're going to bang your head and you're going to get into this big time. But open up that hood, check underneath. And you're going to find a lot of complexity here. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of changes here. You think you're going, mm, 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 and all of a sudden you're changing. You're into a different time signature, and you you didn't really realize it went there. And it's got plenty of atmosphere. It's got a lot of things you would not expect from this style of kind of your melodic hard rock thing. Um, guitars are great. The vocalist is is really good. He's got a voice. Um, if anybody knows the band Black and Blue, uh, Jimmy St. James, I think was his name. It's it's in that territory, but I think better. I mean, his voice could be kind of sketchy at times. I thought this 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 guy is always on, man. A great voice and um, just. There's there's keyboards in here. Like I said, it's very atmospheric. It is just just really pushing the the kind of boundaries of this style of music and it's very experimental. I love this thing. Dream Killers starts off it's extremely progressive in in form and structure and it just killer rotten romance the velvet is cool. Distant memory um Hour of the Sinners is just a banger. Everything here, Mirror Mirror. When the Rain and I Meet, that just has this build to it. It's this ballad y thing, but just not sappy at all. And it just grows and builds. It's so good. Crow's Lullaby, Burning Bridges, Angels Crying. Angels Crying sounds like the name of a ballad, and this is not at all. It's a killer song. Ends with this very progressive um style oblivion this thing just grows and builds and it's got this eeriness to it there's a lot of mood to this album there's a lot of angst and there's a lot of of kind of sad boy stuff as well there's a little bit of a cure vibe if you look deep enough as well it's it's so good i love this album so if that sounds like anything you'd be interested in, um, check it out because this thing is is really incredible. I think this is going to be one of those albums that in 20 years from now, people are going to be talking about, you know, like as this cool thing. Like, here, check this out. Have you ever heard of this band and, and listen to this because it's incredible? I think that's the type of thing that we're going to be saying about this album. I hope I'm wrong because that would mean that the album is not going to be successful. So I hope I'm wrong. But it's got that vibe to it where people are going to catch up to it and be like, wow, that thing was really, really damn good. So anyway, with that said, 
two albums that you may want to check out. Like I said, I loved both of them. Both are very different, yet have similarities in it's a real blending of worlds and um, kind of thing that I really enjoy. So, yeah, check both of them out. They're fantastic. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you.